Hello everyone, we are live again. Um, me and Radhika here talking to you all about crystals, all about how can we um, elevate our consciousness, elevate our environment using crystals. So welcome guys, welcome everyone and whoever is joining, please let us know where you're watching us from. Even if you're watching a replay, make sure you put hashtag replay and let us know where you're watching from. Yes, please do that. And hi everyone. <laughs> hello everyone and please do share this video on your uh, profiles on your group so many many people can benefit out of this this specific video because this is something we're gonna go very basic and really talk about how can you actually integrate crystals in your everyday life like where can you integrate what can you do is it just for the healers is it just for the uh meditators <coughs> excuse me that i was just waiting for that bless you me. thank you so is it just for the meditators is it just for the healers or is it for everyone um who wants to just be uh up level their own consciousness up level their own frequencies and why do we need that why do you need uh an elevated consciousness i think these are all the questions i would love to discuss today yes. so uh hang on with us stay with us and again as i said please share this video on your groups on your profiles okay any way that you can so welcome guys <laughs> today uh and and i was just talking to uh, radhika was just talking to me like i don't know since last two days my network is haywire crazy here <laughs> in maryland i something is happening something big is happening we'll just wait and watch what is happening yes <laughs> Okay, so before we get started, I want to first talk about the Quantum Crystal Practitioner course uh, beginning on August 29th, this Sunday, okay? So if you are ready to register, if you want to start your um, journey with crystals, then this is the time to start registering. So go to my website, paripatri.com, click on work with me, go to the Quantum Crystal Practitioner course and just register, sign up for the program package that, you, that works for you. Um, this is the, the the last program in this year. So if you want to, the registrations clo are closing now. So if you want to get in, join us, this is the time. Else you can all, the, you would have to wait for next year to join us back on this course. So this is really, really uh, important, guys. Go check it out. Go to my website and check it out. On the other hand, I also want to talk about, and also if you have any questions, send to this email mysticalmoonsisters at gmail.com if you have any questions regarding the pricing regarding what is covered regarding the schedule anything that you may have send us this email and we will connect with you and answer all your questions the other thing i want to mention is also we do moon gatherings every full moon and every new moon so we just finished the full moon powerful full moon gathering and now on september 5th we are going to do the new moon gathering so if and this is for only women so all the conscious women queen goddesses um badasses you know everyone <laughs> who would like to be surrounded with other women join us your first class is free on the house so if yes. you if this is your first time you ever you you want to hang out and see maybe if it's for you then send us a uh, um, message again, same thing, same email, mysticalmoonsisters at gmail.com and we'll send you a code uh, so that you can get your free access for the first class. And if you are have been with us, then go ahead. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. The monthly or the six month, the most popular is the six month package. Yes. So just subscribe it to that and join us and, uh, and let's, uh, hang out and empower ourselves this coming new moon. Crystal mm -hmm. and new moon yes. are an amazing combination. We'll talk about that. <coughs> yes, and this time the topic is pretty interesting. It's womb healing energy work, which will be which will be exclusively done by Pari, and it's going to be pretty intense. So if uh, if it's your first time, imagine you're getting it all free. So oh, I yeah. mean, what are you really waiting for? Like Christmas or Diwali or whatever? Just this come, come join us. Christmas came in pretty early this year, and uh, yeah. it is because you are getting this course, you are getting yes. uh, the new, the yeah, the new moon. We are going to do some heavy breath, uh, not breath work, energy work. Yes, um, energy work, and uh, it is really powerful because 
you will be releasing a lot of stuff from your core, from your wounds. Yes. So any type of trauma, if you have been through trauma, if you have been through abuse, if you have been through, you know, a, a lot of um, baggage that comes with your past relationships, then this is the time that step in and um, work with us so that you can release this for no cost if it is your first session. Yes. And also, uh, you will not believe uh, that this is just this is not for the crystal course, but the moon gathering that we're talking about for all women, whoever comes for this womb healing session, um, we are not really guaranteeing it, but you might be able to release any baggage, which is also hampering your pregnancy because uh, Pari also works with um, people who have issues with their pregnancy or they're going to, you know, opt for IVF. So she she's into a lot of things, guys. You do not want to miss this session. The kind of knowledge, the amount of uh, the amount of love, the amount of work that we'll be doing together, it's immeasurable. It's, you know, it's, it's really invaluable. You don't find such things, uh, you know, or with people so just come just come and join us and let's rock together guys <laughs> yes let's rock together so let's get started with uh, our topic today so crystals yes so most often times we hear about crystals with uh, the ones who probably know about it or who probably uh, you know are into meditation um or uh, you know or into new age energy work these are the type of people or even yoga you know yoga guys also talk about crystals so who are getting into that conscious side of their uh, you know being those are the ones who talk and that is why most often uh, the perception when we talk about crystals when you know you wear crystals or anything is more of woo woo you know what yeah. okay this is more of hippie, hippie is another <laughs> word more of uh, woo woo and that is a perception that we have whenever we see uh, women men wearing crystals yes. but we are here to break the myth because crystals are a lot more than just woo woo or uh, uh, being hippie or just being a fashion statement of being a hippie you know yes. it is a lot more than that so <clears throat> let's talk about it so how how about we talk about starting with our home um because our home is a is a very internal part of who we are yes because it is an extension of our own consciousness uh, our home and um, and many people there are in even uh, non meditators non not a lot of religious minded mindset people do a lot of you know uh, uh, rituals to bring uh, good energy into their home whenever at least in hindu culture they do the the welcome the guru pravesham puja so that they ward off all the evil and they enter with yeah. pure energy so this is yes. something that probably the really the the normal people the 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 when i say normal in the i, I don't <laughs> think they are abnormal <laughs> when i say when, uh, i should probably say the um, non meditators the the yeah. you know um <laughs> I know. It's, it's, I won't hide into it. Yeah, but it's okay. I think sometimes even we can't control our tongue, man. We're not normalizing you, but yeah, we consider ourselves crazy and abnormal if that is okay with you guys. Yeah, so. probably we should call them uh, because we are the normal ones here right now. So anyway. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's let's go back. Rewind. Yeah, there's a lot of fun happening. Um, yeah. I know this is, this is how we roll. Um, yeah. But uh, so... So even in a lot of uh, religious texts or a lot of uh, cultures have this uh, element, have this uh, element about clearing of evil. And when you enter a yes. new home or even when you're selling a home or buying a home, you want something that is, uh, you know, clear with good energy. So if you're selling a home, then when people walk into your home, feel the good energy and you sell it right away with the price that you want. Um, and when you buy a home, what is the fun thing that you see is the wives. We call it wives. You know, yes. I don't feel good wives. I don't feel the wives here. And that is what we call it. You know, uh, that's what I, when I started uh, hunting for home, that's the one thing that we see, are, hey, you know what, we are not getting good wives here. Let's not get, I see it has great house, great shape, but the wives just doesn't feel right. Yes. So, <clears throat> So the good news is if you are a real estate agent, if you are a home, you know, a potential homeowner or if you want to sell a home, 
or if you are in a home that doesn't feel right for you then the good news is that there is something that you can do for that um you can bring in crystals you can bring in you can transmute the energy crystals that's what they do they transmute the energy so they transmute the energy that we perceive as negative into positive so this these are great tools for that and you can bring them into your uh, environment and uh, activate them of course you need to know how to activate them and that's why exactly. probably most often times people don't work with it or people even if they work with it they, it's not working because they probably they're not doing it right and um, we can also do crystal grits crystal grits is a topic that we will not be discussing in the pro version but we will be discussing in the certified therapist version so if you would really want to understand about crystal grits then you would want to join the therapist at least version uh, where we will use geometry where we'll use crystals and intention to um, absolutely elevate uh, the 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 energies of it so whenever somebody walks in they can actually sense it it's not just it's not just something that happens in the background you can actually sense the energy feel it mm -hmm. like we say good vibes so um houses uh, real estate mm -hmm. is a very very good uh place where you can start using crystals crystal grits um yes. sage you know all of this stuff um you know this is this is again a great stone to use it for your uh, houses abundant stone and this has many many other uh um, you know elements and chris uh, for a house the grid is definitely a cube so you would have to put it in a cube uh, cube represents earth so you would present in a cube geometry and most of the crystals that you would use for your home is uh, um grounding crystals just <clears throat> around you this is that protect you uh black tourmaline is great um so what are your favorite crystals radhika for house what would you uh, want? for me for house i am mostly uh, in favor of uh, black tourmaline amethyst mm -hmm. uh, rose quartz mm -hmm. and uh, black obsidian Uh, so oh, these yeah. are the these are the crystals these are my four go to crystals uh because i feel uh, amethyst is the harbinger of consciousness like the higher consciousness and it makes the place full of us like for me it, it brings a lot of peace and prosperity from the sun and masters uh black tourmaline black obsidian is obviously the protective stones uh, creating that you know huge energy grid and rose quartz for lots of lots of lots of lots of love uh, for self love for harmony in relationships and for anyone else who's coming to my house you know just feeling that happiness feeling that love em emanating from the walls of the house maybe so yeah. i these are my four favorite crystals and wow. as we speak of house I, i want to share one small story of my friend we were speaking about vibes and i think lot of people will connect to this so uh, they were house hunting uh, she's a bengali and they were in a they were in in this uh, i think cr park in in uh, in delhi only this this happened see I, if i'm not wrong so uh, she was house hunting and there was this one house it was a nice house great deal but you know her she was like i am not getting the vibes i just don't want to be here she couldn't stand in the, in the in that place and she's very vibe sensitive she's in a meditator yet but she, she's very spiritual in nature though uh and later so they finally her parents actually adhered to her advice and you know they did not get that house later they got to know that somebody had committed suicide in that house that one particular room that was really really repelling her that was a room where that that you know individual had committed suicide so they did not did not get the house finally and they went to a different place altogether so it it really works you know listening to your intuition uh, really really hearing the vibes because i think the walls of the house also speak and they speak volumes yeah. so it's very important to smudge you absolutely 100% correct about that yeah and and in most often times like you know i said like you know one of our um, pyramid masters uh, shrikant from florida so mm -hmm. i was talking to him and he is like uh, hey you know what buddy i probably don't feel he is into crystals he is he you have to see his collection of crystals is amazing and wow. not just that he has a whole big pyramid on his in his bedroom like a big wow. pyramid on his king size bed which is like i'm waiting to go to florida just to see that pyramid um <clears throat> but um so he was like you know what i'm getting a lot of signs uh, that this is not the right house for me 
and i would uh, like to move and and also it's not just a crystal they will guide you into your intuition yes so you know that pro- it, it, it is it may be too too uh, much than just a crystal there may be a yeah. lot of work that needs to do- be done yes so in either case you will be guided towards connecting to your intuition towards understanding and being more sensitive to True. what you're feeling you know what you're seeing exactly so that is pretty amazing about the houses is how we uh, we can elevate our current house how we can identify things um that are not right for us because what really happens is you know on our earth there is a grid energetic grid on yes. our earth and the, you know there there are the ley lines the earth ley lines where um there are certain points on the earth where it may not be um the energy may not be suitable for you to live there uh in fact this was written in the book seth seth material jane roberts by ray jane roberts so seth actually talked about this ley lines and talked about how the energy of the land is very essential for our own progress yes true so um it is it is uh, so you can understand all of these you don't need to struggle you are we are not we are not like houses or trees guys we can move we can move around it's okay to move around we don't yes. have to be attached to our uh, you know own houses and and with that um, with that saying that you can you can find what works for you you can be more prosperous more attract more abundance into your life by just being in alignment with the earth's energy so um so that is about the uh, the the one place where you can absolutely use crystals is your earth earth uh, your houses your real estate uh, buying sellers buyers sellers all of them can be using this and also people who want to like you know people who are um, uh, group sessions if you yes. want to have a give a good experience for your customers or your clients mm-hmm. people who teach yoga or any kind of group experience then get some crystals immediately the place get, place gets elevated and people anyone who walks in will be like oh my goodness there is some something here there's something here and that's what i do whenever i do a group program wherever i go a meditation program i take my crystals there so they can feel the difference they can it, it it's a richer experience it's a more luxurious abundant experience for for your um, clients for your yes um, true people okay so let's talk about the next who else can use these crystals uh what about uh, housewives because people think okay you have to be like some crystal person some therapist some you know huge uh, person to use crystals breaking that myth right here housewives can use make use of crystals like crazy um and uh, how, like not even housewives you know that that's very weird word for me homemakers a uh, well amazing beautiful homemakers uh, who are like the greatest support of their house and because of them their house is amazing their energies in the house are amazing their family feel supported and you guys are doing the greatest job in this whole world so somebody think, tells you, you know yeah even if you're working a woman is a homemaker even that if, is true you know yeah. even if yes. a woman is working out there doing corporate job she's still a homemaker she still a homemaker yeah as i agree to that <laughs> it is not just exclusive to any one person it is for yes. everyone yes but uh, but people who are doing it exclusively i think like really really, really hats off to them because uh, the four walls of the house are there everything basically so th- i find it intriguing now because i'm i'm working also like yeah, now we're all at our homes only <laughs> but yeah still it's it's pretty hard to understand how every like every moment is just spent in the house so yeah for them let's let's just say that you know you can use make use of crystals too uh every small thing like crystals can really turn around stuff for you so like i just mentioned about black black tourmaline and black obsidian rose quartz amethyst these these are very basic crystals guys like you can get it a you know at a drop of a hat everybody is selling these crystals you can get it from anywhere and they work crazy if you really act, if you know how to activate them how to cleanse them um we have done videos on this we can go back and check uh, how to cleanse how to you know do all what with the crystals uh, but if you have these crystals in your house you can absolutely make amazing use of them and you will see that you know uh, slowly and gradually 
not just people around you but you for yourself you're changing you know your frequency is getting higher you're getting attracted to things which you never even thought about you become very becoming very aware and conscious of you know everything that there is there is for example you know if you're cleaning your house your cleaning has intention you're not just cleaning the dust and dirt but you're cleaning the stagnated energies you're cleaning anything negative you're cleaning you know if somebody has entered the house you did not like the vibe you're like okay let me just do some you know smudging of the house and let it just get over with or let me bring my crystal out let that let that shine let it shine its vibrations around and let my house feel peace let my let my walls be in peace and you know not be vibrating in that same energy while you're cooking you know um the the act of putting salt or the spices in your food it's so conscious it becomes so conscious you know um, so crystals do magic in your life i'm not saying that you know without crystals it cannot happen uh, but like for me crystals is like like that added advantage as she mentioned you know that we are all homemakers in our own stride and you know when it comes to crystals i think i am a crazy woman i want crystals around me all the time and um, they are pretty they are pretty much like you'll be like acha ye kaam karte hain kya do they really work what is it all about but once you have them and once you keep them in your hand and you feel that vibration it's it's a different level altogether it's it's different guys I mean, that's that's something otherworldly. What do you say, Parini, about this? Absolutely. You know, people in the house, crystals can be used in myriad of ways in the house. Um, you can use it in the kitchen for growth, for rejuvenation, for health. Exactly. Um, you know, I put crystals in the kitchen. I put crystals in the living room because wherever there is a lot of traffic, or, or in the sense when I say traffic or conversations, disagreements, yes. arguments. you can bring some crystals to transmute that and create a harmonious energy in that living exactly. room so crystals are great for bedrooms uh, to to calm your senses down to bring you at peace and have a good night sleep and so essential uh, for that crystals can be used in your study room in your office room to get more concentration nanda here just asked a question crystals for concentration fluorite is great for concentration yes. uh fluorite or even green calcite is good um clear quartz of course is great so you can bring crystals into your workspace into your study space now we are all working from home Mo- i mean of course we are now slowly getting back but yet we do have a set office at home so bring yes. pyramids bring crystals into your uh, workspace and make it you know it work doesn't have to be like oh my gosh i have to work it can you can tra- change it you, oh my gosh i have to attend this meeting i just yes. hate attending these meetings i don't want to talk to this guy who always you know cuts me off or whatever and yes. you can change all that energy i am telling you guys it is miraculous it how is. it works um because i experienced it um myself i experienced it in my own life i experimented with it and how difficult conversations can be changed into very easy convert you can it, it becomes easy to for you to navigate through those conversations so getting them into your workspace for your children if you have children amethyst rose quartz are great for children so you can put, my my kid i have a nice big uh, rose quartz pyramid in my kids bedroom and they love it they love it they they play they they talk to the crystal um they they just they just want the crystal right on the nightstand next to their bed <laughs> so i mean their room is pretty amazing they have like all the planets up on the ceiling and they have crystal right next to them um uh, they <laughs> want them they only drink crystal infused pyramid water if i give normal water to nirvan he'll be like mama i want crystal water i want pyramid water why are you not giving me that <laughs> so it's like for more than for me i have to make it for them and they they connect to the energies much faster than we do yes so we understand the difference so give your kids just crystal infused uh, I, of course we are not going to teach you here how to do that but probably in another, another video so it's great for your entire home in every room and also it adds an element of decor into your house that is um, oh my god right <laughs> just the, the the decor also completely shifts it, it's a very yes. different uh, uh side of it so yes um so yeah so crystals and crystals pyramids at home 
are amazing really really amazing you can remove all the toxic stagnant energy from your home continuously yes i mean um, um, true and i and i remember last year uh, while we were all in the lockdown and the lockdown uh, got over i had gone to my hometown so i carried few of my crystals there and i remember because <clears throat> everybody was falling ill very quickly and was not covid guys just saying uh, general age age factors and otherwise so a lot of things were happening my grandparents were not feeling up to the mark the energy was pretty low and i am a very vibrant person like i even in my ha- home if even if i'm not well like i do not like dull spaces i it has to be vibrant not in terms of colors and other things but the energy should be vi- vibrant and i was like okay something is not right here i just <laughs> my like healing kit was out my i was just you know saging the house around and my and my grandfather in 2 minutes he was laughing and smiling and and she calls me like shatabdi express like you know she is here she is back again everybody will be smiling again <laughs> so i was hugging him dancing around in the house making everybody laugh just you know and just that laughter imagine guys you are a crystal yourself like so when pari keeps repeating you you know it's additional tool if you if you really recognize that crystalline part in you na then everything is just that i added that element i added my element in that stagnated energy and imagine my crystals were vibrating in a very different manner i remember my crystals were feeling very heavy in my hand as if they were trying to tell me that radhika something needs to be done about this house something is not right we don't feel okay to be here like they were literally telling me that and i meditated i i sat in a space and i was i all my crystals were around me i had carried four to five crystals with me that time um they were all around me i sat in meditation and then i really felt them getting lighter and lighter and lighter and within one hour of meditation the house was feeling okay like i felt as if i was back to my old house not to this some new strange vibration that i don't recognize so yeah. and and the why that was happening because my father do because it was a very crazy time last year it still is uh, but not to that extent and people are getting used to of how things are right, right now but my father was traveling in and out he he runs a medical shop there i can't do anything about it guys it's his profession <laughs> i can't i can't really interfere in that but yeah so i know he was carrying in lot of energy though he was taking uh, he was bathing every time he came back from his uh, shop and everything but yeah i i pretty much got it why things were happening that way so it really works guys all that she said that you know crystals even in water you know any corner of your house they just change the vibration of the entire place you it just becomes like a different space altogether only if you know how to work with them by the way so it does it it's magical it's it's truly magical and i love the uh, the example that you share like you know even if the vibration is something foreign which you do not recognize Yes. Most often time we don't enter into a group or a community because it may feel foreign to you. It may feel like yes. it's not you, but you can make it you. You with your yes. energy. Yeah. The the say the quote you know don't get influenced by others but you be the influencer. So you can change it. Uh, you can also integrate that different frequency within you and make it your own frequency. So we don't have to be scared about going into unknown. a uh, groups or communities you know what i'll tell you a big secret guys a big big secret i am actually an introvert i am not an extrovert at all uh i'm a be- the extrovert in my house is my husband he is the one he stands in a elevator whoever walks in he'll make a conversation and i'm like why are you talking to everyone and i'm like just standing there just keeping quiet and he is the one who would talk to everyone Yeah. it's very hard i'm laughing because the moment you said secret i knew you will share this and i'm laughing most people will not believe you at all that you are introvert i am such an introvert i am so serious i am such an introvert if you are with me one on one you will be like for you are so boring i would rather watch you on uh youtube you do no, because <laughs> <laughs> because it is that and, and 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 people don't believe that and and you it's it's like really hard for me uh, like you know i'm i go into my shell i i people out there can connect with, you know who are introverts will probably connect you know you, at some point you just go into a shell you don't want to talk to anybody exactly. you just want to do your work and <laughs> yeah 
so it's not that just because we are talking to you on uh, a camera means that we are oh my gosh very talkative <laughs> very out yeah. there and no yes. it's not at all true, true. Yeah, you know i agree right you, you we it's like we have our own kind of shells that we go in our own fears yes. but you but but how did i get over that how did I, how did i get over being an introvert and being here expressing myself is through working with these tools is by empowering my mindset it's not just tools guys it's also about your mindset mindset exactly and that is the big thing that we will be discussing in the course is everybody anybody can teach you about crystals you can google on crystals you yes. can get you get tons of an uh, information but oh my gosh juice is juice is here juice hi oh god <laughs> it's such a big it's it's the best surprise like my day is made uh, okay woman i just the day is made <laughs> <laughs> we have to dance for juice now she yes. is in the house she yes. is in juice we are so happy you are here my sister um really really she, uh, yeah wonderful juice, to have you here yes. Juice is my biggest gift from Pari in the year 2020. One, she is herself a gift, and then she is gifting me another gift that is Juice, along with the Mystical Moon Sisters, which is now Sacred Goddess Tribe. So yeah, I think uh, it's like a chain reaction of women coming together and creating the most amazing uh, tribe that can ever exist. So I think I'm, I'm the luckiest uh, woman here to have such beautiful, brilliant women who surround me. I think that's the best thing that you can have in life. Yes. Yes. Um, wow. Uh, this is this is super awesome. So so yeah. So crystals can not just you know you you don't have to be stuck with your own personality and say you know what crystals are not for me or even for entrepreneurs who wanna go. Uh, this is something that we do training to for entrepreneurs who wanna be successful. Who wanna get out there and and uh, you know talk about your work. And most often times you know what I don't wanna market myself. I don't wanna talk about myself. I just I would rather just sit behind the desk and do my work because if there is no visibility there is no business there is no uh, success so crystals are a great part into changing that energy into bringing that vibrancy like what radhika just talked about that vibrant energy that she had um that she she created when she went there is by using these tools is by meditation is by bringing aligning the right crystals with your intention he is working on your mindset because yes. mindset is also a big 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 part of of this whole process yes um so that's a no, that's a great way place to use crystals in your life is in your house again we talked a lot about the house sellers real estate and within the house as you're living is great in your workspace bringing crystals into your workspace is great great for your kids if your kids are work uh, uh, suffering with adhd with uh, with with issues like attention you can actually calm them down with crystals if you get the right crystals of course if you bring carnelian probably they'll get more energized um so bring rose quartz bring amethyst uh, and i know juice has this beautiful necklace amethyst necklace uh, i wish uh, she, we could we could see it right now um <laughs> i just love that and she wears that and she it, it's just that energy is so strong uh and jules i have to show you something uh this is this is jules's uh, favorite um patchouli patchouli that is her favorite scent and do see your secret is out i'm sorry <laughs> um but, uh, that is what i love too now and uh, whenever i wear patchouli i remember you too so which is uh, pretty awesome so i always you know i'm watching it today <laughs> <laughs> yeah so now you radhika is going to get patchouli and and be connected to that energy whenever she puts on that um yeah oil so um so yeah and and by the way crystals are very beautifully uh, aligned with oils with with essential oils yes. with gem elixirs with flower essences you can really complement uh, the energies uh, with them so it's really amazing yeah she she's saying wear it every day <laughs> i know that i know i know you do so yeah so i i have it and i probably every time i go live i pro- i put patchouli on on me um so um 
let's put this out there so it stays in our, <laughs> our video and yes. you can experience that. Nanda yes. Kishore is here. He said many things. He said he started a, a pyramid meditation from 1998 when he was just first standard. And he has Aww. a great experience. And he has a pyramid in his home, which is amazing. And Tila says that she has crystals everywhere, but not in kitchen. So Tila, welcome first of all to the live. And yes, crystals in the kitchen are great, are amazing. Uh, all the yes. green crystals, green aventurine, green calcite, um, are great uh, to bring in. Green is a color of growth. Green is a color of health. So just to bring that health into your into your kitchen is where we spend most of our time cooking and cleaning and eating. Yes. So we want to bring that uh, that um, earth energy is there. So bring some plants. Plants. My sister will love this if I say this. Um, bring some plants into your home. If you cannot go out in the nature, bring the nature into your home. Uh, surround your house with uh, plants and bring crystals. Crystals is also a part of nature. So bringing crystals into your home is like you're actually bringing the nature into your home and making it more high vibrational. No wonder. I mean, even if you don't know the energy of crystals, there is nature just bringing the mama earth into the house. Yes. How would it ever hurt you? Uh, you know, again, great decor, getting plants. I just brought two plants into my house, into my room. The whole energy shifted. I felt like, oh my gosh, it just the the, the energy just shifted like in, in an instant, just be with the plants. And my husband, he is not sensitive to energies at all, but he felt it too. And which is pretty amazing that yes. he felt that, oh my gosh, this is true. Like, you know, just bringing yeah. plants. Um, and uh, talking about plants, swag, letswag.org is a is a, a whole new project initiated by PSSM, which was led by my sister. Go ahead and subscribe to that. If you are a nature lover, you will love this. Uh, if you're a nature lover, join us, volunteer with uh, with the with that. And it's all about sharing the love about nature to, with everybody. Yes. Uh, oh. And if you're interested uh, in joining the WhatsApp group of SWAG, kindly connect with me personally so we can do that as well. If you want to volunteer for SWAG, we have all the space and work for you to be a part of it. Yeah. A lot of opportunity, guys. A lot yes. of opportunity to uh, to be a part of, um, to be to be with purpose, to live with purpose. Yes. Uh, okay, so I want to also talk about abundance, which is a very, I think most people would be interested in that topic. Yes, abundance. everyone is, everyone yeah. is. Uh, abundance and also I'll, before actually getting, abundance will be a lot, last topic in, in about five, six minutes. But before yeah. that, let's talk about creativity or let's talk about confidence, self-confidence increasing. Yes. So I remember... Uh, when I did my first uh, presentation online or uh, on crystals, in, I went to a yoga center and I did my first presentation. Uh, this was back in 2016. Uh, and uh, I was freaking nervous. I was like, what the hell am I going to teach? I don't, I've, I've never been a teacher. Even at work, I'll be like hiding. I don't want to present. I don't want to. Yeah. Most of us sit, miss the opportunities at our work. Um, because we are scared, because we are, yeah. because we are in fear that I don't know if I'll make sense. I don't know how will I stand before all the CEOs or whatever. And we miss so many opportunities of uh, uh, becoming visible. Even you know, sometimes going out uh, with for a, uh, a dinner with a client, we feel like, oh my gosh, maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I, I don't know how yeah. I'll be present. Right? I, isn't that uh, true? So you're people. speaking like, you know, like so many people who relate to you right now, all that you're saying. It's very, very relatable. We miss so many opportunities because of our own fears. I did that. I miss so many opportunities just because I don't have a right dress to wear. Yes. Same. Oh, God. I do it even now. Even now I do this. Oh, God. I will not go. But if I, I would rather sit at home, but not go with a dress that I don't uh, yes. feel comfortable. I feel you. Right? Isn't that what we do? And and yes. we, we we give important, we feel that, that the self-confidence comes from a dress or from the makeup or if I didn't get my eyebrows done, then I'm not <laughs> stepping out of my ho home. Yeah. You know, I'm not uh, getting on camera. So, so many things that we, especially women or even men, 
have that uh, fears within us and we miss the opportunities we miss great opportunities um so <clears throat> so one of the things that i uh, did was for the presentation is i did a crystal, again crystal grid guys i i was i before i started i did a crystal grid i activated it and i'm telling you the amount of confidence that was oozing out of me was was like wow whoa like wow i mean this this is amazing and everybody loved my presentation everybody could connect to it so this is something that i since then i started like this is powerful man like this is no joke um this is no joke and and i started experimenting more with the crystal grids and um and then with every whenever there is a big event whenever there is a big meditation whenever i really want to uh, create value in in whatever i do i have this crystal grips activated so so people who want to work on their uh, confidence and who, who do not want to miss opportunities because of this silly reason i i mean i would not say silly these are real fears that we go through um so these are real real uh, real real uh, fears real real problems that every day that we have we do not want to be visible we do not want to get too much attention yeah maybe we are scared you know maybe we'll get nazar you know nazar lag jayega ya ya too much attention why let us just be safe and play safe um yeah. let us you know all these fears to why why to attract so much because we've been trained and it's also a part of conditioning yeah so most of the times like at school we never raise our hands to answer the question let the first benches do that why do we need to answer yeah oh right? for that that i was the first one to raise my hand like <laughs> nobody should nobody else should get a chance i will i will answer <laughs> i was that kid meher was that kid okay and <laughs> and he would he was a kid i'll tell you one joke he was the kid where he would go and after the classes and a teacher teacher you did not check our homework and then, <laughs> he was that kid in the class so imagine i'm sure everybody hated him for doing that oh god <laughs> yeah everybody hated him but he was that kid that he would be like raise the hand and say what you're not getting my homework bra <laughs> homework so yeah so if, if anybody wants uh, to have a good laugh it is my husband and not me <laughs> um i'm only good on camera so whatever you see don't believe guys whatever you see on camera do not believe that uh, i think uh, no you can't as you underwhelm yourself also she is not really an introvert i think you are an ambivert where we are ambivert people we we decide when we want to be very out there and we decide when we want yeah, to not be decide, out there that's good yeah when, so we are ambivert side i am like being open like, like i'm yeah. like god of fun but whenever i decide yes. i'm going to be like closed that's it nobody can yeah. enter yes. into the space and i think i i love being an ambivert because that helps us to protect our energy also you know sometimes you need to recharge and you need to be like out not out there so i think it's good being an ambivert for people like us you know who yeah. are always yeah. out there just you know the face is always <laughs> right there on the screen so i think it's very important to be an ambivert absolutely so crystals are great for creative for writers carnelian is known as a artist stone So I people who are writers, who are you know designers, uh, painters, all these guys uh, carry carnelian with them um, yeah. to, to to bring those juices of creativity into into you. And I I work so much with carnelian, and I cannot if I have an ounce of creativity creativity in me, anybody can have. Because <laughs> I'm the last person to be creative. <laughs> if i am i'm not kidding i it's not just i'm purposely putting myself down this is truth i was completely on the other spectrum if creativity is here i would be here like there was there was absolutely no bridge and yeah, i think you were brain. more right brained initially than left brain left. now you are balanced person i think i was more left brain i was left brain left sorry brain. not right brain more left brain more practic towards the practical yeah side. because i was always told oh i need to be an engineer i need to be this uh, this is how <laughs> successful people live or whatever you know that was you know you're from i'm from uh, india i'm from hyderabad in hyderabad 
you have only two options medicine or engineering and when but, i was but that was you, but that was that was not your parents i am i'm sure they no they would not say this this one not my parents but also it was my you know the extended family yeah of course uh, family and also the fr- people around you that's what you see you never i uh, now yeah. that i i was just thinking about in a car i wish i would have just done psychology in my um in my uh, uh, you know uh, in you know uh, for thing psychology Masters. or you uh, some kind of or energy work something different that would yeah. complement me what i'm doing right now yes um instead of just uh, running towards engineering because just it was you know i have to be in the popular group or the most trending group or i have to be in that sheetle that now yeah. people everybody talk about um, uh, you you won't believe now that you said i want to share this that i am actually uh, looking forward to doing masters in psychology from distance like I, I i hope i do it like pretty soon because it is very very co- compatible with what i am doing yeah so, and, yeah. so if, if imagine if you teach this to your children this old mindset shift how amazing it is like people won't uh, the children or the youngsters won't be pressurized into doing something just because it is trending just because there is money in it who said there is no money in spiritual business who said that please ask them to talk to me <laughs> if anybody says that okay that you cannot feed yourself or you cannot do okay said so me yeah um so so it's you can do anything you want you can make money with anything you want all you need to be is not work for money let the money work for you okay that's Please listen to us <laughs> that's why i'm making such signs just listen to what she is saying uh, because i am making my money out of for money don't work for money don't work just to get a paycheck work let the paycheck come to you because you are you are passionate you because you yes. want because you're making a difference you're anyways let's talk about it. this is a perfect gateway to start getting into abundance finances yes. how to attract first of all again <clears throat> <clears throat> show crystals when taking name of specific crystals you know guys um i i actually didn't get all my crystals here i have so, carnelian here i can get it also can you can you put off uh, put me off in the screen for a second so i can get it and yeah, i can show so nidhi wants to see the crystals yes, yes. and this is what we do in our crystal course um okay this is what we do in our crystal course is uh, getting the um uh, showing the crystals and you it will be absolutely amazing so nidhi if you are interested you have must join us you have only 4 days guys august 29th is starting our course which is this sunday right here around the corner uh go to my website again go to my website go to paripatri.com check out the uh, course details and sign up and if you are from india there are special um um, um pricing so you can actually uh send an email to p- mysticalmoonsisters@gmail.com to get the pricing if you are from india okay only if you are from india not an indian from um us so so this yes is, i have raw carnelian it's right here right and the carnelian comes all these crystals come in different colors it can be lighter yes. it can be darker based on where it is mined from um so mm-hmm. and again <clears throat> All right, let's talk about abundance. I mean, this is the crystals I have right here. Pyrite. Pyrite is great for abundance. Again, for if you are a business uh, or entrepreneur, I always create crystal grids for my business to attract clients, to attract the clients who I want to work with. It's not just I want to work with anybody. So attract clients. In fact, by saying that, I'm actually taking one-on-one clients, guys. there are again there are openings just this month if you are interested to work with me directly uh, um this is the time to connect this is absolutely the time to connect uh send me the application in fact i'll put the link on how you can yes. apply for that and again only if it works for both of us that that this is a we are a right fit for each other then i will invite you to join me in my one on one coaching Yes. Um, uh, and I think uh, this is like the second series of live that we are having. If you really want to check the crystals, because we did share our crystals in the first series, so you can go check out that because we did uh, six days uh, before this as well. So you can always go back to our YouTube or Facebook, and you can check out the 
uh, the live series and you can see all the crystals that we shared at the point in time. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. So yeah, you can see all the crystals. We do tons of lives, guys. We're going to be doing live for the next three days. So join yes. us this time. Um, it, it, it is, these lives, we are sharing all tons of information uh, about this. It's not just that we are coming and sharing a story. Of course, we keep it entertaining as well, so you can enjoy and have a good laugh with us. Yes. <laughs> um, but um, but you will be uh, it's it's getting a lot of lot of information about crystals. And one of the things that I would want to specify is that it is not the crystal that is empowering us. It is the other way wrong, uh, uh, other way around. It is your intention. It is your strong intention, your energy, which is. Again, as Radhika said, you are the crystal. Okay? Just breathe it in. When I say this, you are the crystal. You are the creator. You are here creating your own experience. Always. Always. You are, always. You are no lesser or greater than anyone. Yes. You are unique in your own way. There is no one comparable to you. Remember this no one comparable to you you can take risks you can fail you can be successful it doesn't tell anything about who you are because you are a creator and it is your choice exactly so and the value you don't achieve uh, gain value with the, your the amount of money in your bank or the amount of assets that you own the value is with you whether you have the money or not the titles next to your name, doctor, engineer, MD, all these things will does not give value to you. You are worthy. That's it. You don't need to prove anything. You don't need to achieve anything to feel worthy. And only with this mindset, you can achieve great success. Working with crystals or working with anything. And this is, this is it, guys. If you can understand, if you can just take away just this part from this whole... A session, then we are happy. <laughs> well, with that, I just want to say again, August 19, uh, 29th, the course begins. If you want to join us, hang out with us like this every Sunday, um, learning about um, uh, crystals, learning about mindset, learning about how to apply it in your life, then join us. Do not wait for some miraculous Oh, when I have money, when I have this, when I have that, <laughs> um, I will join. This is the time. Make a decision and, and join us and be a part of this amazing pilot group of quantum crystal practitioners. You will be certified with us. You, will, you can start teaching about it. You will get a lot of resources from us. There's a lot that happens. And uh, thank you, Jules, for being here with us. Yes. <laughs> your presence matters a lot and we love to have you more and more and more and more with us um and uh, thank you so much everyone we love you thank and you. we'll see you again tomorrow same time with another topic. yes and tomorrow we are doing uh, crystals and nature it's it's a pretty intense topic and it's my favorite topic by the way um, it's an absolute, my absolute go-to topic for crystals is nature. I will be discussing about how even animals love crystals. So if you're interested, do join us tomorrow at the same time. Uh, that is 7.30 uh, p.m. IST and 10 a.m. EST. So do not forget that we are here with you for three more days. So make the most out of it, guys. Most out of it. All right. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Love you and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.